My name is Khalid Zaki. I'm a diving instructor and underwater filmmaker. Now I become a diver. I want to learn how to take photos underwater. We have the sport or recreational. We have the environment, environmental assessment and studies to make sure that they are not destroying the coral, grass, fish. Industrial, for example, it will be for oil rigs. Sometimes you need to go. Usually it is very tough and they don't use uh, normal cameras. They use uh, a remote control operated vehicle, which is ROV. Learn how to dive, take some specialities, and think about equipment and gain some experience. Parry underwater photography speciality is one of your options. Very easy, video to watch, little book to read. And then you need to, let's say, practice in the swimming pool to take some nice photos, and then you see how it is going. So when we see things underwater, we don't see it in the actual position. We see it normally closer and bigger. So I need to put this in mind because of the lens I'm using and the depth of field and the focal lens. The color will also change underwater. Some of these colors will start to disappear. By the time you're going down, as long as you're going down, you're losing colors. So you need to think about that and then think about having a filter. I need to know something about fish behavior because it is important to expect what I'm going to see and to expect the reaction of the fish when I breathe out, for example. Scuba diving is two things. Good buoyancy control, airway control. The way I'm breathing in and out and the way I am floating or buoyant during the dive. Navigation skills, I need to know my way under the water. Most of the time I'll be diving in a group with a group of people and uh, I don't want to lose them but I also want to take photos and I want to be away from them. I'm sure whoever uses a camera here knows what I'm talking about. When I have my camera I want to escape from everybody. Why? Because of the bubbles. Dive a lot. Practice on land. Practice in the swimming pool. Practice at home. Take photos, leave bubbles. I remember the, the old days, the light was that big and it really gets hot and it consumes lots of energy and it was very expensive and the time actually for, for the light to keep it working was very, very short. Nowadays it was lithium battery and then I, NI battery. Life is very easy. I can get this little beautiful solar with 2,000 of lumen. It turns the day into light. And I can have it running for two hours. No problem at all. Uh, of course, you cannot do that on land because it will heat up a little bit. It needs to be submerged. Light is important. Strobes is important. You need to think about adhesive strobes. How I'm going to connect the strobes to the arm, to the to the camera. It will be either flex arm, ball joint kind of thing, like that. Yeah, you put the light here, like that. And then it's flexible. Or arms, ball joints, and clamps. And then you end up with Something like that. Of course, this is a wide angle lens. I can switch this to a macro lens. You still can use one of these point and shoot camera, which is, I love it. Yeah? And I got very, very nice result with it. And then a marine case for it. I'm sure all of us have one of these in your pocket now. Yeah? I love it. GoPro. With all the accessories, they have it now. It's like iPhone. Look at the iPhone. You can put your iPhone in a, in a marine pack and you dive and take photos. This is during the beginning of discovering how to take photos underwater. Look how big is the camera. This is another camera. Smaller, kind of compact. 
GoPro of the time, huh? That's a nice setup. 60 years ago, I would say. And then it starts to get bigger and bigger. I used to have one like that, by the way. That was the Ferrari of the underwater camera about 30 years ago. This one now is very handy, travelers. I don't know, but some people like it. It's too heavy and makes clearing mask very funny. You can put your camera in a pocket or a case. Yeah, but I will never do this with my 5D Mark III, to be honest, never. Usually, who works with a checklist, usually? You like the checklist, like one, two, three, I need to do this, one, two, three, four, five at work. It is this thing, because you're dealing with lots of parts. You need to be concentrating when you are building up your system. You cannot do it in a small boat while everybody's like looking for their gears and no, it is better to have it uh, somewhere safe. It depends on how much I want to spend, how much I want to invest. Let's start with the GoPro. How much is a GoPro? 2,000 uh, real? Yeah, 500 bucks more or less with some extras and you can buy extra more and it's still closed, didn't touch the 3,000 or 4,000. This is like 400 sterling pounds. This photos is a variety of photos uh, from Philippines, from Red Sea, and from Qatar, Oman, and Jeddah. 